The Lou Rubo Center for Brain Health in Las Vegas is a youthful building designed by an 84-year-old architect. Larry Rubo called Gary and asked him to design a clinic and research center for neurocognitive disorders such as Alzheimer, Parkinson's, and autism. The new building was to be named after his father, Lou Rouveau, who suffered from Alzheimer's before he died. Gary was reluctant to accept. He had turned down several big projects for Las Vegas. However, he decided that it was a worth cause. The small corner site was away from the street and had been planned to be part of a 61-acre symphony park, one of the largest urban redevelopment projects in the United States. Gary conceived the project as a metaphor of brain lateralization, the logical and the creative hubs. The program included clinical research and outpatient examination rooms, labs, a reception area, an office suit, a small library, a 9,000 square feet event space, a gallery, an interactive museum of the mind, a kitchen and an outdoor cafe. The spine of the clinic is a central T-shaped court that has an urban character like that of a piazza resulting from the intersection of medieval streets. An open cafe with furniture designed by Gary is the focal point. The influences of Le Corbusier's Ronchamp and Altos Voxenisca churches gives it a spiritual feeling. The soul of the building is in the Life Activity Center an events area that is a source of income from its rental to gatherings, weddings, and concerts. The space is breathtaking. 
The shell is punctured by 199 triple glazed windows and skylights, each one different from the other. Everything seems to be in motion, like in the Baroque spaces of Borromini and Bernini. The Louvre Center carries a powerful message. Great architecture can be humanistic, daring, economically feasible, sustainable, and historically literate, all at the same time.